Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to split your cells. Now in this tutorial, we're going to be using A549 cells, trypsin, F12 broth with penicillin and field grow, and PBS. To move all of this media, we're going to be using serological pipettes and a serological pipet pump. Let's get started. Now, before you start, your PBS, medium, and trypsin EDTA should have been stored in a fridge. To make sure you don't shock your cells, make sure that you heat them to room temperature either using a water bath or leaving them out. Now here, I'm aspirating the medium out of my flask using an aspiration pipette connected to a suction line. Make sure when you do this that your flask is tilted so that all of the medium goes to a corner and your aspiration pipette does not touch the cells. Once you finish this step, discard your pipette into a biological waste bin. Now this next step is gonna be using a serological pipette, the serological pipette pump, and one times PBS. We're gonna be adding 15 milliliters of this PBS to, to the flask containing your cells, and this is gonna rinse your cells. Now I've already gone over the serological pipette pump, but just as a reminder, the top button is to pull up your medium and the bottom button is to release your medium as we're doing here. Now make sure when you release this PBS that you do not directly release it onto the cells to avoid dislodging the cells. And so make sure you hold the flask skewed so that the PBS is released onto the side wall. Once you dispose of your serological pipette into your biological waste bin, Make sure to swivel the flask so that the PBS inside rinses over all of the cells. Now the next step is to aspirate the PBS out of the flask. Once again, you're going to add the aspiration pipette to the end of the suction line. This can also be done using a serologic pipette if you don't have access to a suction line. Make sure that your flask is tilted once again because you don't want your aspiration pipette to touch the cells. Once you do this, you should have a flask with only cells adhered to the bottom. The next step is to disassociate these cells from the bottom of your flask and this is going to be done using trypsin EDTA. So in this step, we're going to be using once again a serological pipette and a serological pipette pump to add 3 milliliters of trypsin EDTA to the cells directly. Once you add your trypsin ETA, make sure that you swivel your flask so that your trypsin, like the PBS, covers all of the cells. Once you do this, we're going to incubate the flask for 3 to 5 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius in the incubator. Now you don't want to leave it too long, but you don't want to force the cells to detach before they're ready. So make sure to leave it again for three to five minutes. When you remove your flask from the incubator, you should check by tilting the flask to see if the cell monolayer slides down. The next step in this process is collecting the cells. We're going to add 7 milliliters of the medium to the flask with trypsin EDTA.
Once you add your medium to the flask with Tripsin EDTA, you want to rest your pipette at the bottom corner and tilt your flask. At this point, you want to repeatedly pipette the medium up and down. These cells were formerly in a cell monolayer, so you want to disperse the cells into a single cell suspension, which allows for accurate cell counting and uniform growth. There's also a balance when pipetting these cells, because pipetting these cells for too long or too fast can cause mechanical damage and break the cells. Earlier passages or primary cell lines are more susceptible to this than later passages. Now that you have a single suspension, you want to prepare two new culture flasks. What we're going to do here is add 15 milliliters of your medium to the two new TC75 flasks. Now that you've created these two new flasks, you need to add your original single cell suspension to them. Now there's different ratios or concentrations you can add them at. The first is a 1 to 2, where you add 5 milliliters of original suspension and it lasts about 1 to 2 days before you have to re-split them. You also have a 1 to 5, where you add 2 milliliters of the original and this lasts 2 to 3 days. 1 to 10, where you add 1 milliliter of the original and it lasts 3 to 4 days and 1 to 20, where you add half a milliliter of the original and this lasts about 5 to 6 days. Here, in this case, I'm creating two 1 to 10 flasks and so this is going to last me about 3 to 4 days. These are just recommendations for ratios and the precise cell density it can be measured by counting your cells and you can calculate exactly what splitting ratio you want. Congratulations, you've split your cells. Make sure that you clean your lab space and put your cells in the incubator. Let me know what procedure or topic you want to see and I'll catch you guys on the next one.